Hi, Janice here of Pinay Investor. Today, I'm going to share with you the steps on how to apply for UMID or Unified Multipurpose ID card. Before we start, I'd like to invite you to visit my new blog, which is PinayInvestorMom.com. So what is UMID? Again, UMID stands for the Unified Multipurpose ID. The UMID will be the single ID card of all SSS, GSIS, PhilHealth, and Pag-ibig members. And this is a sample of the Unified Multipurpose ID. So these are the steps on how to apply for UMID or Unified Multipurpose ID card. The first step is to obtain a UMID card application form by visiting an SSS branch nearest you or download it from the SSS website. I'll also post the link at the description box below. This is the Unified Multipurpose ID card application form and this is what you're going to fill out if you're going to apply for this UMID card. The second step is to fill out the UMID card application form in one copy without erasures and alterations. Then you have to place a check mark on the applicable box and always indicate NA or not applicable if the required data is not applicable. And then you have to present identification documents, so any one of the following primary documents such as driver's license, passport, BRC card, and Siemens book. If you don't have any of the primary documents, then you have to submit any two of the following secondary documents, one of which with signature and photo. So just check through the list and I'll also give you a link at the description box below. The next step is to fill out appropriate items in the following format. Make sure you follow the format to avoid any discrepancies on your personal information. And then write the height in centimeters and weight in kilograms. Just follow the conversion guide below. Next is, in item 11, limit the distinguishing features to those that can be found on the face, such as mole under the right eye and mole or birthmark on the left cheek or forehead. For card replacement, pay the required fee at any SSS branch office or accredited bank or collecting agent and submit this form together with the required documents and validated miscellaneous payment form or special bank receipt with miscellaneous payment form to the nearest SSS branch office. For card replacement due to amendment of data or authenticating finger, submit the previously issued SSS or UMID card. So again, those are the steps on how to apply for UMID or Unified Multipurpose ID card. I will also publish a post on the step-by-step -step process on how to apply for UMID on my new blog at PinayInvestorMom.com. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to post them down below at the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it's Pinay Investor, and visit my blogs at PinayInvestor.com and PinayInvestorMom.com. Thank you for watching!